I wanted to make this video to talk about teaching mathematics for the first time because I think that it can help people who are thinking about teaching math and who have never taught before. This is especially useful if you're thinking about studying mathematics and you're thinking about teaching math you've never taught before. So I guess I'll just tell you my story. So when I decided to study math, I decided that, well, I should teach. And that's because with a math degree, you know, you, you can get multiple jobs, but the main job that you can get with a math degree is becoming a math teacher, right? So typically, if you study mathematics, it's probably a good idea to tell yourself, hey, I'm going to be okay teaching or teaching is something I'd like to do. I'm not saying that you shouldn't study math if you don't want to be a teacher, but it certainly helps to have teaching in mind and keeping that as a viable option if you're thinking about studying math. So when I decided to study math, I decided to, you know, to teach. So my first experience teaching mathematics was in grad school. And it was a calculus one recitation class. So basically, in this school, the Calculus 1 classes, they had very big lecture halls. There were like 300 students per class. And then the students would go to lecture, and then they would go to these recitation sessions where it was like a smaller classroom with 30 people. They would take quizzes there. They would go over homework questions. Uh, the recitation leader, which was me, would review some material. And these TAs or teaching assistants, what I was, were very bound by the teacher. So I wasn't actually a teacher. Okay, I was. I, I didn't really have any control of the classroom. It's not as good as being a teacher. When you're a teacher, you have more control. Sure, the math department tells you what to do, but you know you, you can do your own thing if you're smart about it. I'm not saying you should do bad things, but you know the classroom is yours. Whereas if you're a, a recitation person or a TA, you work for a professor. And so you're really bound by what they want. Some professors are very, very strict. Some are very controlling. Some are very good. You know, people are different. So professors are different, right? Professors are people. And so I was a TA for three different professors in grad school. So my very first recitation section, which I had to teach, I was a TA for, um, I won't mention her name. She's still a professor today. I've... I know where she is. I've, I've looked her up on the internet. Yeah. So, but she was very strict. <laughs> we were all kind of scared of her. And she's a great, great person, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> in any case, I remember standing outside the building. It was, a, it was a math department building. It was a very majestic building. You know, very good school, rich with, rich, rich with tradition. And I remember being so nervous. And I remember I picked up my phone and I called my girlfriend at the time. And she was she was in a different state. And I just I just needed to talk to someone. You know, I was so nervous. I had never I had never taught a class. In fact, I was one of those people who sat in the back of the class. I was so shy and so nervous. I was I was afraid to raise my hand in class, you know. So so this is coming from someone who was very, very shy. So very shy, you can relate. Someone who was very afraid. I mean, I wasn't even... I was nervous to talk to my teachers. I was scared to ask questions in class. And here I am. Here I am by myself in a strange state, about to walk into a classroom of 30 students and attempt to teach Calculus 1 for the first time ever. I have to, I have to go in front of the class and talk to the class. So I talked to my girlfriend... And, you know, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm really nervous, blah, blah, you know, all the stuff you tell your girlfriend, you know. <sighs> Hung up the phone. I walk into the class. As I'm walking in, so I'm walking in, and, you know, when you walk into the class, I walk in along the wall. And there's a girl sitting there. She looked kind of like, she was Hispanic. Pretty sure she was. And she looked up to me, she looked up to me. She looked up at me, and she said hi. And she smiled, 
as soon as that girl, I don't remember her name, I don't know who she was, but as soon as she looked at me and said hi, or I think she said hi, or good morning, professor, I think she said hi. She didn't say professor, because I wasn't a professor, I was just a TA. She knew I was just a grad student, I'm sure she had, I'm sure she knew. As soon as she looked at me and said hi and smiled, all my fears went away. It's like something just came over my, my body, my presence, and I was fine. I was 100% okay. I wasn't nervous. It's like, it was like this immediate healing of the soul and nerves. I was completely okay. And that's the story. I taught the class and it was a fine class. And there was one guy in there who was kind of annoying to try to pick at me. But despite being a complete newbie at teaching, I think I was able to handle myself really well. And uh, yeah, it was a good experience. I, I ended up doing you know the whole semester teaching teaching three different recitation sections for three different professors and being evaluated by all three, by all three professors this one was for the lady who was a little strict and she paid me a surprise evaluation she had basically evaluated everyone else all the other grad students and she was she was doing it by surprise she wouldn't tell us when she was coming to evaluate us but she waited to the very last day so I knew I knew but she saved me for last and she she said that she said that I had a good rapport with the students. I was like, okay, what does that mean? I didn't even know what that meant. And uh, she left me a good a good review. So I got good reviews from all the uh, all the professors there and they were all very good professors. Even this lady was, she was a very good professor. And it was a good experience. So I guess the moral of the story is just relax. <laughs> right? You just gotta relax sometimes and go with the flow and uh that girl, I don't know who she was. I don't remember her name. I don't know where she is today. She was just a student. She was just a good student. And she smiled at me and she said hi. And she changed everything for me with that, with that one smile, with that one hi. Kind of weird, right? But that's all it takes sometimes, you know, someone to smile and say hello, ease your nerves. That's the biggest thing when you're teaching, you know just got to relax and realize that students are there, are there to learn and you want to do the best you can for the students. That's your job, right? Your job is to help the students, not to judge, not to, you know, impose your will on them. You're there to try to impart knowledge and to help them in any way you can because they can go on the internet and learn on their own. They can watch videos, right? So they, they show up to class because they want to learn. And your job as a teacher is to accommodate that. Even if they're mean to you, even if they ask questions that you don't agree with, you know, you're supposed to, you need to suck it up and be professional, do the best you can. And realize that sometimes, even if you think they're being mean students, that's not their intention, you know? People say things sometimes and it comes out the wrong way, you know? I remember when I was a student, you know, I didn't know anything about college or about life or anything. So, my message to you is if you're teaching for the first time, relax, do your best, be humble, do the best you can for the students, and realize that everyone is just trying to do the best they can, right? Everyone in the world is out there doing, trying to do the best they can, especially the students, right? Students, I mean, going to school is hard, right? It, it's, 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 if you have a good job, if you have a job you like, working is much easier than being a student, okay? If you think your job is harder than being in school, then maybe you need to reevaluate what you're doing, right? Maybe you go back to school and do something else, right? Because, you know, your, your work, your work should be easier than school. Your work should be easier, I think. School is hard. Anyways, I hope it's been helpful to everyone out there who is thinking about teaching. It's, uh, it's a very rewarding, very rewarding thing you can do with your life, teaching, you know? Um, helping people in general is, is a rewarding thing. Subscribe, like, share, check out my courses. Links are in the description. They're on Udemy, but if you get them, please use the links in the description of this video or from my website. Which the link is in the description. Also, I have all kinds of books, and the prices are this is fun. Ebooks are two pi, paperbacks are four pi, <laughs> hardcovers are eight pi. I just wanted to say that because it's fun. 
They're all even multiples of pi. 2, 4, and 8. Links in the description. Stay strong, my friends.